New tonight, D.C. police file murder charges one year after a man disappeared after he arranged an online date. 40-year-old John McRae is accused of killing Marty McMillan Jr. inside of an apartment in southeast D.C. McMillan's remains were later found in the woods off Suitland Parkway. Tonight, our WSA 9 Michael Quander explains the victim's family has mixed emotions. I'm sorry, God, forgive me, but I want you to pay. I want you to pay. Strong words from a grief-stricken grandmother after John McRae was charged for killing her grandson, Marty McMillan Jr. What you took from us could never be replaced. You destroyed my life. You took my grandson. McMillan disappeared in April last year. Family members say the 22-year-old was headed to meet a woman off of a dating website, but no one ever heard from him again. Man, I want to hug his bones. I don't care. Six months later, U.S. Park Police discovered remains in the woods off of Suitland Parkway. The bones were later identified as Marty McMillan's. How could you do something like that to a person? Leave them lying out there in the woods, know something and don't say nothing. Police revealed Marty died after being shot several times inside of an apartment building on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in Southeast D.C. Investigators believe McRae played a role in that killing and charged him with second degree murder. This almost a year to the day after McMillan vanished. Was it a year that too long? Yes, absolutely. Felicia Cook and other family members were critical of the way police handled this case. They believe McMillan was overlooked because of his troubled past and there was no urgency to solve his case. Even though police disagree, saying they took this case extremely seriously as they do with any other missing persons case. Chief Newsham says he promised the family the closure that they're seeing today. In Washington, Michael Quander. They treated it with minimum concern. They didn't listen to us. WUSA 9. And police tell us tonight more arrests are possible. McRae, he's expected to be in court tomorrow afternoon 